here in the TLR pits on the off day at the 2013 IFMAR Electric Off-Road World Championships and Mike Truey is showing us the brand new car that the Team Losey Racing Drivers will be st driving starting tomorrow. It's the first ever time you guys have had this on a, on a track in official competition. It's the brand new 22.4. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, it's uh, basically, it's a lot of our uh, old, very popular, um, so to speak, style of a car with a lot of new uh, new new age things involved. The one thing is it's much stronger than any other four wheel we've had. Um, some new geometry in the rear end, especially new big bore shocks, big bore springs. Um, realistically, it's ground up new car. There's not anything. Nothing's really shared from the 22. The shocks are different. The uh, all the arms are different. The hubs, the caster blocks. There's. It's not kind of a a 22 made to a four-wheel drive it's ground up new four-wheel drive and uh, you said that it's kind of based on some old stuff it looks like some of the suspension design may have drawn some cues from the old double x4 yeah there's a little, actually the double x4 was a big influence on this car i mean everybody knows that car was just always a dream to drive and i think you know as the time came along it, it lost its pace but it, it was a car from the 90s so we kind of started from there and we wanted to keep that dream to drive and bring it up to speed, and I think that's what we accomplished. And uh, aside from the suspension design, it also shares um, at least the same kind of drivetrain with the Triple X4. It uses three belts. Uh, yeah, same as the Double X4. It's a three belt oh. car. Um, yeah, the, all that stuff is kind of tried and true. New belts, uh, new belt technology, new pulley technology. So with the new brushless motors and lipo batteries, it's holding up to the power much, much better. And uh, how much have you guys had a chance to test this? I mean, you know, we, we saw some spy shots, uh, you know, right after the Nationals. You guys stayed here that week and ran a little bit. But, I mean, really, this is the first time anyone's seen the car in person. Yeah, it's, uh, we have a little bit of time on it. Um, it would always be nice to have more time. But, uh, you know, working with the vendors and getting stuff in parts-wise, just getting sample cars built, we've had... Uh, Probably less than we'd, we'd like to, but we've been happy with what the time we had. So, should be good. And uh, what do you think are the biggest changes between this and what Losi's had previous for the four-wheel drive class? I think the biggest thing is its durability. Something you can go out there all day and, you know, beat on it kind of like your two-wheel. And, you know, if, unless you take a big hit, it's it's been holding up real good. I've, I've yet to break a thing on it and I've had a couple big crashes with it, so... But durability, ease of driving, I mean, I know that's a big thing. Ease of driving with the pace. Sure. So. And uh, obviously durability has been an issue in the four-wheel drive class for basically as long as the class has been around. So I, I imagine that was a, a pretty big concern when starting with the project. No, definitely. It was, uh, like you said, nature of the beast, four-wheel drives are they're going a lot faster. They have a lot less kick up in the front end. And we've uh, really focused on making it strong, making it user consumer friendly. And uh, our, I imagine all the team drivers here are running the car. Uh, not all of them. We only have, we still only have a select few cars. I believe there's seven or eight cars running. And uh, but out of those seven or eight, everybody's been pretty happy with it. Everybody at least got a day or so to kind of shake it down. Well, a few of the guys actually, this is be the first time, first run is going to be practice one here with it. But uh, I think we have a pretty good base setup for them to start with, and should be good. And uh, they didn't change the track, actually, after the two-wheel drive portion um, with all the rain and stuff that they had this week. Uh, the IFMAR uh, officials here decided that it would probably be best just to leave the track the way it is so that the track crew wasn't scrambling to put it together. Uh, how much experience over the last you know, three, four days running on this layout do you think will carry over to running four-wheel? Oh, I definitely think we could. Uh, we know how the track's supposed to flow. And if your car is not flowing that way and... You know what it should feel like and how you know you're not learning the track and learning your car at the same time so that's for us that's a good advantage and and hats off to the track crew just for getting us racing yesterday and i i don't feel bad at all that we're not changing the track to give them a little bit of a break you know from the mayhem they went through uh, we see a couple of different things on the body as well. The front looks uh, sort of similar to the double X4, but um, you actually have a, a large, we could probably call that a, a shark fin or a stabilizer on the back. Uh, it looks similar to what you guys have been messing around with in 8 scale. Yeah, it's uh, the cab forward bodies are definitely, uh, I wouldn't say this is cab forward, it's kind of cab middle, but then putting that fin in the back definitely gives it the stability at high speeds and I think with four wheel and especially on a track like this, on a lot of tracks, even the European tracks, it's a uh, 
it's definitely a good body to start off with and you know i'm sure other people are going to make bodies and we we may make more bodies in the future as well um, and aerodynamics, you know, playing a part, like you said, in European tracks. But also, we saw this week already that this layout is very fast. Uh, how do you think this, this layout will race once we get into four-wheel? I mean, the two-wheel drive cars got around it pretty well, but, you know, four-wheel is a whole different animal. Yeah, it should be good. I, I know after they redid the track, the track actually has the most traction it's had all week. And uh, I kind of hope that smooths out a little bit for the four-wheel drive cars. I think it's just going to be four-wheel being faster and, you know, four-wheel drive already is... I would say a little harder to drive, and with that much traction, it's going to make it real tricky. Uh, the Some of the other four-wheel drive buggies that we uh, see in the class, uh, they're still kind of based on some of the older designs, even back to when some of them share, you know, platforms that, well, with cars that were designed around, you know, nickel metal hydride batteries and brushed motors, and you guys obviously coming out with a brand new car, so it's it's been tested and tried with the current crop of electronics, do you think that gives uh, you know the, the new TLR car an advantage? No, I definitely think so. It's it's, it's built around it, and uh, a lot of the other cars have made the changes to accommodate for all the new electronics and stuff, but to, build, to be able to build from ground up around that, I think, is a good good starting point. Well, hopefully, uh, looking forward to seeing how you guys do this weekend with it. Good luck to you, obviously, and the rest of the TLR team. All right, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This back when I used to watch that thriller over and over I used to